Hello. In this video, we will see how densitometry is done for electrophoresis gel or STS page or Western blotting with the help of ImageJ software. ImageJ is a very useful software and commonly used for the measurement of band intensity. You do not need to download any plugins or macros, therefore, you may not need to worry like in the previous video of Scratch S. Therefore, it is pretty much easy analysis. First, open your image in ImageJ software and take your image and open it in ImageJ software. So, the step one is make the band more visible. Uh, but before that, convert your image into 8 bit. My image is already in 8 bit format. Therefore, I will go to step one. Step one is to make band more visible. If the bands are not visible enough, they can be made visible by changing the intensity. For this purpose, click on image. Go to adjustment, adjust, and then select brightness and contrast. From this, you can change the contrast, you can increase or decrease the contrast. You may change the maximum and minimum values that may suit you for your image. Then click apply. Step two. Step two is the inversion. In order to invert the image, click on edit and select invert. Your image has been inverted. Step three. Step three involves the subtraction of background. There is usually an undesired background in the image. It is also called noise. In order to remove it, select the representative area with the rectangle tool. This is a rectangle tool. And let's suppose this is our represented representative area. From where we will remove the noise. Okay. After this, now click on analyze. Go to set measurements. From this uh, uh, check boxes, only check this one box with mean gray value and click OK. Then go to analyze and measure. You will have a mean value like here 225.307. What you need to do with this value? You just need to subtract this much from the image. Now, unselect, uh, unselect the image. Go to uh, process and click on subtract background. Now, put this value of 225.307 in this box. And click OK. Your image has improved from by subtraction. The next step is fourth step, which is uh, an optional. It depends upon your image. The fourth step is image rotation. Make sure that all the bands are in straight line, like here. If they are not, rotate the image. Image can be rotated at a desired angle. In this image, the bands are in straight line. However, for the demonstration purpose, I just show you. Just click on image. Go to transform and select rotate. From this uh, window, you may change the angle 
like uh, three degrees and click OK. Uh, look, uh, they have rotated, but I don't need it. I will undo it by Control Z. Okay. The fifth step is the band selection. To measure the band, make a rectangle around the desired band. The size of the band is critical. One rectangle size should fit all the bands. For this, I will draw a rectangle around apparently the biggest band. Okay. I hope this will fit to all the uh, all other bands. Okay. Take it to the, your first band, which may be your control. After this, uh, after making the first rectangle around the control, like here, uh, click on Analyze, go to Gel, and select First Lane. Its short key is Control plus 1. You will see a symbol 1 will appear. Now, Take this rectangle to the next band. Repeat the process. Just go to analyze, then gel. But this time you will select select next lane. For that, the short key is control plus two. Repeat the process for the next band. Analyze, gel. Next line. Take rectangle to the next band. Now I will press short key, control plus two. Next band, control plus two. Next band, control plus two. And so on. Now, uh, you can see that all the bands have been selected. Now we will move to sixth step. Step six involves the involves to plot the lanes. In order to plot the lanes or in order to plot the graph, click on analyze, go to gels and select plot lanes. Here you can see that graphs have been plotted against each band. We have nine bands and we have nine plots. You may scroll it down to see all the graphs. Okay. Now here uh, one thing uh, one thing is very important that the graph should graph must touch with the baseline. If the graph is not touching with the baseline, you have to draw a line uh, at both extremities and join them. For that purpose, select the straight segment tool and connect the both the terminals, both the ends of the graph, like this one. Second one, repeat the process for the third one. Fourth, if we do not draw these lines, the area under this graph will not be measured accurately. Therefore, you should be very careful while drawing these lines. After you have drawn all these lines, 
you have to measure the, uh, the area. For that purpose, select this tool, band, magic band tool, and click on the graphs one by one. You will see the area will be recorded in the results window. Go to the second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. And the last one. Okay. Additionally, you may also label the peaks by clicking, anal clicking on analyze. Go to gels again and select label peaks. Look here, the peaks have been labeled and these values are also given in the result window. Okay. You may save the graph. Just save changes. and uh, labeled. Okay, save it for the future use. Now, you may save these results or on the other hand, you may select all these copy into an Excel file. Okay, you may label it or whatsoever you would like. This was the area and this is percentage. Now the last step, step seven. Step seven involves drawing of graphs. Okay. But uh, before uh, trying the graph, we have to normalize the results. For that, uh, the first uh, uh, band was of our control. What we will do? We will take this value and paste here. Then what we will do? We will select it and Copy it, control plus C, then we will select this column and we will go on paste, paste special values, divide. Okay. Okay. All this, uh, the whole column has been divided with this value. You may round it off. Okay, next, uh, the last thing is to insert a graph. Click on insert, go to graph and draw a 2D graph. So this is our final graph. I hope you have learned it very well. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you need to learn more about the six and advanced video tutorials about image, like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.